It looks something like you. Hi guys, this is the first vlog I've done in a while. And I'm doing it all on my own. Um, which is why I look so bleached out. Matt's not here to help me. I'm in the garage right now because we are one week, one week for moving across the country. And I thought this is the perfect time to vlog and show you the craziness of our life. Um, so today is Saturday the 11th, it's the day before Mother's Day. Saturday the 18th is the day that we fly from LA to Ohio. And we're gonna stay in Ohio for a couple of days. Um, Matt and I are gonna travel down south um, leave Kenny in Ohio with my mom and his mom for a couple of days and then we come back and we drive up to Toronto to start our New life while he films Jupiter's legacy. We're getting ready to pack some boxes and um, start the process of getting ready to move and um, I'm gonna bring you guys along with me for this. I know this is a super glamorous video with my <laughs> garage in the background, but um, the first step for us when it comes to packing is purging. So I made Matt completely clean out his closet. I cleaned out my closet, um, cleaned out Kenny's closet, and we're getting rid of all of the excess before we even start to pack to figure out what's gonna go with us. Um, and I really, I prefer to donate everything. All right, we're getting started. Here is day one of the packing process before we move to a new country. Help, send help, please. So a lot of people ask me what I do with my clothes because I get rid of so many clothes and I get sent so many clothes. The clothes that I get sent that are gifted, I send or give away to friends, family, or I donate. I'm putting this box together for my cousins in Ohio right now. I'm shipping it to them. But I wanna show you this hack that I had really quick. So this is a hat that I'm sending them. So when I pack a hat, I create a hole between the clothes, put it down so that it saves the shape of the hat, and then I put I pack the inside of the hat full of stuff so that when it arrives, the hat is in perfect shape. I'm telling you, when you're packing a suitcase or whatever, this is the best way to keep your hat in a good condition. Whew, it's just like utter chaos. We are starting the process of packing some boxes here to try to ship to Canada, which is probably gonna be a lot of money to get past customs. We're starting the process of pulling aside what we want to take with us to Ohio since we're going to Ohio and possibly Tennessee first and trying to figure out if we're going to take a car with us or not so yeah and I'm purging as I'm going I'm getting rid of so much stuff you should see like piles and piles so just gonna keep at it so I'm taking a quick break you taking a break too mm-hmm drinking kombucha yep I'm having a super healthy break. I feel like I've been working for days on this. And it's only been like hours. Packing is probably the worst thing in the world. Whether you're packing for your dream vacation, packing for a move, whatever you're packing for, packing is just the worst. And it requires the Oreos. Well, the day didn't go as planned. I ended up getting a Terrible headache. So, um, getting ready to take a bath. I'm taking a vino bath tonight. I take those quite often. That's why the water looks so like milky and odd. Because I actually have a vino in there. Um, it's just super soothing to the skin. Trying out some new skincare products tonight, testing them out. Um, I like to do that. I like to always test out products before I talk to you guys about them because um, I don't ever want to like say something and like or show you guys a product. Unless it's like a PR that I'm opening, but um, unless I like truly have a seal of approval on it. So until I got my headache, I got a lot of stuff done. I got everything cleaned out of my closet that I needed to. I cleaned out McKenley's closet. Matt got his closet cleaned out. He got all of his stuff packed that he's taking to Canada, which is nuts. Um, I started a box that we're going to ship to Canada. And yeah, tomorrow's Mother's Day. We have no plans, isn't that crazy? I think that if we weren't moving in a week, we would, I know that we would have plans, but like everything's just so crazy right now. And that sent us the most beautiful flowers. He sent me um, 50 roses and he sent my mom um, a bouquet of flowers too. Like didn't even tell me that he was doing that for my mom, it was so sweet. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna take this bath, I'm gonna decompress and 
try to get a good night's sleep tonight because I've been waking up the last few nights in the middle of the night. Um, like I was back when I was dealing with insomnia, I'm doing that again right now, which is really frustrating. Wow, I look like I got some major sun today. My hair is wacky. <sighs> this vlog is really real, guys. You guys are seeing me in all of my nasty baby hair glory. Day two, it's Sunday and it's Mother's Day. And I woke up, came downstairs, <clears throat> didn't sleep good again last night, but you know, that's another conversation. And I have the sweetest card from Matt. I just wanna show you guys. Kenny signed my Mother's Day card. How cute is that? So I'm right now writing a blog post for Mother's Day. My mom, who shouldn't have to do anything because it's Mother's Day, made us all oatmeal and coffee, so. Just doing the, the necessary tasks before we dig in. I have so much to do this week, like so much. I have so many events that I have to go to because we are now less than a week until we leave. I have a lot of events. Uh, I stuttered just then on accident. I'm gonna film a nursery tour, that's a big one. Everybody's been wanting to see McKinley's nursery, like in video form. I know I did the blog post a while ago, but um, I wanna do like an actual video tour before we leave. McKinley's in there watching Praise Baby because on Sunday mornings, since we don't have a church here on Sunday mornings, I like her to watch Praise Baby and learn some Sunday school songs like I did when I was little. Another thing we do is every Sunday morning we watch church. Um, this week we're watching Pastor Craig Rochelle and he's Life Church. I think he's out of Oklahoma and I just really, really love his sermons. They're so good. Um, and I listen to him on podcasts all the time too, if you ever want to check him out. He's awesome. But um, today, because it's Mother's Day, I don't know how much we're really going to get to celebrate because we just have so much to do. We went through and cleaned out McKinley's closet last night. I think I said that last night. Um, so all of her stuff that's too small is gone. See, I'm so cute in my Danny and Jack outfit. Get up and walk. Show everybody how you're walking. Nope. Nope, not gonna do it. It's one o'clock and I'm still in my robe because I've been working on my Mother's Day post all day. So I'm gonna go up, get ready really quick, and we're gonna go have some lunch for Mother's Day. And then she's gotta come back and get her nap. She's hungry, so I gotta hurry. P.S. I got a new phone case. Isn't that cute? It's a it's knockoff, obviously. I bought it on Amazon, I think I paid like 20 bucks for it, but I think it's really cute. The quality is really nice for what it is, and it's got a pocket in there too. Spending our Mother's Day car shopping. How happy are you about that? Not very. Me neither, but we've got so much to do still before we move, and we have to make a decision on the car. So we're driving to Beverly Hills right now to see if we can find a car that will work for us. Here goes nothing. All right, we made a car purchase on Mother's Day. It's your car. It's not my gift. Although right now he would like to tell me that it's my gift. I'm holding this thing like I'm drunk again. Um, here's the thing. Mac got so upset over the lack of haggling because he really likes to haggle for purposes. All right, Angela, let's not, let's not talk about that. That his ears got really red and he started sweating. I don't like being taken advantage of, it's the bottom line. So anyways, he's taking me to Louis Vuitton right now to look for my real Mother's Day gift. Ow! That was my head you just hit. And we have, they close in 20 minutes, so I'm doubting that they're gonna let us in, but we're gonna try. We're gonna see if they'll let us in to go look at bags because I really want a graceful. I have a never full and I want a graceful. And, um, we're gonna go look at them. It's supposed to be my Mother's Day gift. We'll see. We'll see if we leave with one. Oh, so yesterday, which was um, day three of me supposing to, supposing to vlog, get your words together, Ange. I didn't pick up the camera one time because I was so busy. Um, I had a photo shoot with my photographer, Kara, and we had to shoot videos. We did the nursery tour of uh, McKinley's room. And so today now would be day four. It's Tuesday. Again, we leave Saturday. And I'm just getting to my first event of the day. I just left the dermatologist. I had to go get a dermatologist um, mole check. I do it once a year. This is your reminder. If you haven't gotten your moles checked, go do it. 
so important. Um, and it's the first, first appointment I can remember in so long that I didn't have to have anything biopsied, which is amazing. Praise the Lord, because I always have to get my moles checked. Um, but just left that appointment. Now I'm going to an event. It's Tuesday morning, 1030. And it's at DRA, which is in downtown LA. And the, the cute little dress I'm wearing right now is from them. So I'm popping in here. Whew. And um, hopefully today, um, I, I still have another event that I have to go to and um, two other appointments. But hopefully today I'm going to get some packing done. But I also have to film two projects today. One is for... Um, a brand that is due tomorrow and the other one is a YouTube video that I want to just get filmed and over with before we leave LA and then our we did buy a new car on Sunday by the way on Mother's Day and it's getting picked up on Wednesday so we have to which is tomorrow so we have to get it packed up and ready to ship tonight for tomorrow so we just got a lot going on like a lot a lot a lot mama feels like she's going nuts all right I'm gonna go do this event hurry up get back in the car and head home so I can get more work done for the day. Cause I have, and um, oh, and we're gonna pack the baby today. That's that's a big one. We're gonna get the baby packed. So, all right, let's go. Let's go do this event. So I'm at the DRA event, and it's so cute. And they're having you pick out spring items from their spring collection. Just a little boutique. I'm one of the first people here because I'm an early bird coming from a doctor. But and then outside they're doing acai bowls. So popping in and popping out. I'm doing acai bowls and look at some fresh coconut. And I just made myself the cutest hair combs. I'm actually gonna put it in McKinley's hair. Isn't that cute? You got to do three granolas. Um vanilla almond. Vanilla almond, please. Yeah. No, yeah. It does taste I love acai bowls. I just have to show my piece of art here. Isn't that beautiful? It's like the prettiest acai bowl I've ever seen. It's topped with uh, chia seeds. I'm really excited about this, but I'm gonna take it home. I hope it makes the car ride. Yee. Truthfully, this video should be a day in my crazy life. Um, came home, filmed a YouTube video. I did a um, review of my new Louis Vuitton that Matt bought me for uh, Mother's Day. Had a quick lunch, took a conference call with one of my assistants. Um, and now I am going to work out. I'm going to do my personal training Pilates and it's my session starts in one minute. So I gotta leave, but the studio is only literally a two minute drive from my house. So at least I'm not gonna be crazy late. So I'm gonna go work out, come home, get ready, go to another event. And then we have an, a doctor's appointment in Beverly Hills. And after that, we have to go pick up. McKinley got a, um, one of those ride on cars to pick that up. And then we come home and we get to pack finally. Whew, a massage. I need a massage. Oh, that'd be wonderful. Whew. Just got done with my workout and it was a good one. Like I feel really good. I didn't sweat terribly, which is surprising because it's 81 degrees today. But um, I stopped to get myself a, a treat <laughs> after my workout because hashtag balance. And I should be, I'm, I'm hiding in my car and I'm gonna eat it before I go home because I feel like that's really mean for Matt because he's like really watching what he eats. Um, yeah. <sighs> All right. This is day, I don't even know what day it is, but it's Friday. <laughs> we're flying out tomorrow. And we're starting off with breakfast with this little one. Oh, did you get shy? It's okay, you don't have to get shy. And I packed my clothes last night. So that part's done. Matt's clothes are packed. The car that we had to buy for Canada got picked up on Wednesday and I packed the back of that with a lot of like fallish stuff. Um, and our filming equipment because we wanna be able to film. And today we have all of the other last stuff to pack, you know, like you know, the other stuff that you use every day for the next five or six months of your life. It's no big deal. <laughs> it's so hard to pick what to pack and what not to pack for such a long time, but yet it's not a full on move. So you don't pack your entire closet. It's so confusing. So yeah, I, and you only can take two suitcases, that's it. But Matt did find out that he's gonna be coming back and forth to LA a couple times over the next, um, 
couple months because he has to do some wardrobe stuff. So the good thing is that he can, if we bring anything we don't want to bring, he can bring it back and he can pick up anything and take it back to Canada with him and all that. So, and I have no idea if I'll come with him or if we'll all come with him or if we'll stay there or go to Ohio or what. So yeah, it's been a stressful week. That is a dirty, dirty face with tears and all. See, I just had a bad moment. Mama got upset with me because I was being naughty. I was acting like a two-year-old and I'm not even two. Oh. Um, I had packed up some of my makeup here in these two cases. That's my everyday makeup. My, my like filming makeup, I already shipped to Ohio a while ago. Get ready to inventory jewelry and figure out what jewelry I want to take with me for blog shoots and stuff like that. <sighs> so much to do. <laughs> Again. <laughs> On the way to the airport, it was perhaps the craziest morning and we've got a crazy, crazy dog. A baby there, back there somewhere. Cece back there, mom, <laughs> with the suitcase blocking. It's leg one of our move to Canada. Bye. And um, we, whew, I think we got everything. But Matt found out that he's gotta go back, come back here in LA, to LA in a couple of weeks. So anything we forget, he can get. But it's been a, crazy week. This morning was way more peaceful than I thought it was going to be. You might disagree with this that. This morning? Yeah. We're 40 minutes late. Oh yeah, we're 40 minutes late. Besides that. Besides that small detail. Um, and then last night we had to say goodbye to our nanny, which was horrible and we were all a mess because she's been with McKinley since she was five weeks, six weeks old. So now we're on the way to the airport. Now we get to relax. All right, so we're doing something very special today. We did the private suite at LAX. So they dropped us off here. This is our private suite that we're waiting to be picked up for our flight. Oh, didn't even have to do that. Here is our bathroom. And in the bathroom, there is a full complimentary drugstore waiting for us. This is insane. Then, and they brought our carry-ons here. They already took our bags and they're being checked into the plane as we speak. And then you come in here. Yes, they had toys waiting for McKinley. And the TV on to Mickey Mouse Clubhouse because that's what she likes. Snacks for us. All of the travel accessories that we could possibly need. And then you go over here and they had a changing pad with honest diapers. Honest hand sanitizer, wipes, butt paste, toys, and a whole book thing. And we are welcome to take whatever we want with us. Could you die over her little pink Nike tracksuit? I bought that for her first um, toddler flight today. So she's like styling and profiling. And then here's the view. The full bar. They had food waiting for us, avocado toast, coffee waiting for us. A tea bar, oatmeal, cereals, candy. Like, it's insane. I've never seen anything like this before, ever, ever, ever. And we're on the other side of the airport here. And when it comes time for our flight, they'll pull up to our door, grab us in one of the cars, and drive us directly to our plane. We don't have to go in the airport at all. This is insane. Even Soka gets to enjoy it. And they have a play area for her outside. What do you think, baby? McKinley, do you love the private suite? Yes, it's so fun. Ready? Oh, sorry. You having so much fun? You having so much fun, huh?
part one of our journey is over and we're going to be here for a little while and 